Well, it's been a year of progress in terms of looking at our structures. Uh, and it's been a fantastic year for me getting to know the breadth and diversity of the Diocese of Chichester uh, as the visitation uh, has got going and I've travelled uh, east and west, north and south across it. Uh, I've been delighted by the warmth uh, of welcome uh, and I've been um, intrigued by the real diversity across Sussex. Uh, some very, very remote, tiny village communities in which we have schools and churches and a great deal of uh, faithful work going on, but also uh, the areas of severe urban need, uh, but the richness uh, of life within those places, artistic, cultural life that is uh, very positive and creative. <laughs> to the priests who uh, remain positive uh, and faithful, uh, who remain prayerful, uh, and uh, who continue to seek to encourage uh, the faith among their people. And sometimes there's been some quite tough, uh, you know, news headlines for us to deal with. There's still the shadow of some of the safeguarding stuff. Uh, and sometimes questions about money, Questions about numbers, questions about age profile can seem a bit dispiriting. But actually, we are very well served by so many of our clergy. We have great resources to bring to the uh, challenge of mission that is ahead of us. And uh, uh, I'm uh, very, very hopeful and encouraged by what I've seen on the visitation so far. And I look forward uh, in 2014 to completing that. And then, and then, beginning work uh, with um, a range of people from across the diocese, rural deans, lay chairs, uh, and our uh, renewal and mission and renewal team, to look at putting together a strategy for the Quinquennium 2015-2020. The point about the centre of the diocese is it's not in Hove. It is in every parish, in every school, in every place where Anglican Christians witness to Jesus Christ across Sussex. It's a, it's a picture of massive disparity. There is a lot of money in Sussex, and there is intense poverty. Uh, and we have to be very, very clear about our commitment to crossing those divides and closing the gap. Uh, through the work that we do as Christians and also through drawing attention to it uh, within our society. Because not only does it exist, it exist in Sussex, but as we look at Britain today, it exists in even more stark ways across North and South. I think I want to focus on what the quality of life is like in the household. Home life, as we know, is critical for young children in their formational years. And it's critical for the frail, elderly, vulnerable in their closing years. Uh, and I think our attention to uh, family life, both within the church, what are we like as a Christian family, the household of faith across Sussex, the Diocese of Chichester, but also what is it like for us to nurture faith among the young? What is it like for us to care for and value the elderly, those in whom the wisdom of the years resides? Uh, and I think uh, in paying attention to being the household of faith will make us uh, the right sort of environment uh, for the work of evangelism and for drawing new people into the adventure of Christian life and discipleship. And Bishop, on behalf of the whole communications team, a very, very happy new year to you. Thank you, and can I say, across the diocese, to all my brothers and sisters in Christ, happy new year.